Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoovalux. Welcome, bienvenido, croissuri, salam alaikum. Welcome to the channel, y'all. Chesh, dan, yong, and howdy, y'all. So today we've got a bit of a weird one today. This is a poo of power that I had brand new last year, pointed out to me by the wonderful Alex and Steve from Mad About Hoovers. And I got it, brand new in box. And absolutely fine, loved it. I've done the demo on it, I've used it, fantastic. Then back in December, I did a big fur mess test with it using Gilligan's fur, absolutely fine except for one little thing. I forgot to remove the full bag that was full of dog fur. So anyway, so that was that. Back in January, end of January, I had a little bit of a gathering here and meet and some friends over, some collectors and Chris and Phil and George and Rob and Paul and everybody came over and they were in here and they wanted to uh, try this machine. And I was like, yeah, fine, go ahead. But the, um, bag full indicator light kept coming on and there wasn't any suction on it so i was like oh okay fine so when we removed the door and i could see the bag was full and there was this smell so we were like oh my god what's happened to it so the long and the short of it was that over the winter this had become a mouse house and there was a mouse living in it so the bag with all the lovely soft warm lovely dog fur made a wonderful bed nest great for the mouse so in one section of the bag when we had to look inside there was all poo and it had been peeing inside the bag and the mouse pee had run down the bottom of the bag through the bag and down inside the machine so it was wet with mouse pee so that is what's well with that all these parts have been washed, which is the door, the filters and everything. They've all been cleaned, sanitized and everything. So they are all ready to go back on. But the other thing I haven't done is to sort out this machine. So we are now cleaning out the mouse house. So I don't have that issue anymore. I caught the mouse and now I have one of those plug-in mouse um, and rodent kind of like um a supersonic sound things i don't know so it's it's on there it's been working it's been absolutely fine i've had mouse traps all over the place uh i've had i've got uh these humane mouse traps and um nothing at all no reoccurrence no nothing i haven't noticed anything being chewed gnawed everything is fine but today is the fact now we have to get this back up and running so because we are dealing with mouse urine. It was a very neat mouse. I have to say the bag um, hadn't been chewed through or anything. It had just been purely used as its house, um, which is one good thing. So it looks like it had been getting in through here, up through the tube, through there, and then into the um, bag. Oh, that's the dogs I can hear coming along. Zach, Millie, Gilligan. Where's my mouses? Here they come. Hello. Hello, Zach. Okay, so let's get cracking on this machine. I'm going to move you guys a little bit closer. And we are going to start stripping it down. Okay, so let's start stripping it down. I've got the card here for the Pure Powers. I've got a bucket. Uh, I'm going to take the cord off. I just want to listen to it for a second. Okay. For some reason the motor does sound a little bit dry, but anyway. I'm going to take all the tools off, I'm going to wash everything. And I am most definitely going to be washing the hose.
Okay, so we can here see the damage that has been caused by the uh, mouse urine to the motor. It's caused some rusting. Can't see any other damage to it, thank goodness. It is all contained to this part of the motor here, of course, which I will rub and clean up. So I need to remove the motor. Like so. to the top, two to the bottom. So there we go, we have completely removed this now for washing. And while I am in here, I'm going to be removing this suppressor. So all of this, I need to take off this cover, all of it needs washing and what I need to do is to clean up this area here um, so I'm just going to use my, not now, uh, in a minute, once I've cleaned up the other parts, uh, I'm going to um, clean it off and um, yeah. I'm also going to add a little drop of oil into the motor while I've got it open because uh, it did sound ever so slightly but you can see where the moisture is just so I'm just going to clean that off as well but luckily we got to it in time and it is completely salvageable and completely fine we will get it back up and running so there we go so what I'm going to do next is to clean all the parts and wash them and dry them and we'll be back for the next part. Okay, so all of the parts are now completely clean. I just need them uh, need to wait for them to dry. I've cleaned up everything, all the mouse remnants. I put um, Dettol uh, in the bath while I was washing the parts and uh, so that would have got rid of any bacteria but everything now the base and everything the hose the lot is all nice and clean like i said i just have to wait for these parts to dry so i'm going to lay them out on the counter and get them dry um and next we are going to be sorting out the motor so let me get these parts out of the way and then we'll crack on with the motor which will be the last part for today Okay, so I got my disposable gloves and my mask, which I'm now going to fit. And I've got the Dremel all set up so that I can Dremel this off. And I'll use pneumatic. 
Just suck up while I do it. Okay, let's get it on. Okay, so that has removed as much of it off uh, uh, nice and easy. Uh, now just gonna take this little sanding sponge. So there we go, that is all the damage now removed off the motor casing and looking very good. I've also cleaned it as well, so there we go, no other damage to it, thankfully, caused by that pesky mouse. So, let me just hang up my thingy magic. So now we can start putting it all back together. Um, everything is now done and dusted. I am gonna spray, I'm gonna put a little bit of um, Singer oil down in there and I'm gonna spray a little bit of lithium grease down in the uh, other bearing in the motor, uh, just because it's it is an old machine. Uh, there we go. So yeah, it is an old machine. So um, oil in the bearings will definitely help it because even though it hasn't been used that much, it's still. Uh, you know, could do with it after all these years. So there we go, done and dusted. That is part one of the mouse living in my vacuum, done and dusted. So tomorrow we will start putting it all back together because everything is going to be dry. So yeah, thank you very much. Let me just finish off the video. So my little whippersnappers, I hope you've enjoyed this first part. Thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you did enjoy this video. Check out my back catalog. There's quite a lot there for you to feast your eyes on. A bit of everything and everything. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm waffling. So I'll see you guys for the next episode. Bye, y'all.